Okay, again, we're in the same position. So I try and shoot when I'm in a room, we try and use all four corners of it if we can. It's still raining, surprise, surprise. So we're going to just do a quick shot of the door. Similar to what we did earlier on with the easy box and a speed light, we're just going to use a different system here. So we're going to use the Allen Crom RX Speed Pack. It's got a plus three in it. And we're just going to use a high density dish. And the beauty of this dish is that you can keep your powers right down and move it way back from the subject and keep your apertures nice and wide and it just creates a really nice soft depth of feel on the subject. So really shallow depth of feel looks nice and natural. I use it quite a lot in mottled sunshine condition when we've got mottled sunshine on the back of the couple and then we pop the dish 20-30 feet away and we just fire a little bit of light coming through. It's really nice and natural, more akin to a really nice soft fill light. So it's going to get him in the doorway, it's absolutely pouring down, but you'll never know from the shots. You might see the odd raindrop coming through, but nothing too crazy. So I'm going to go to about 125 ISO. I want a little bit of sensitivity, but not too much. And I'm on roughly about 1 60th at the moment, shutter speed. And that's just going to give me the nice green punch behind them that I need. And at the moment I'm on F4 as a test. And again, F4 is going to give us a little bit of depth of feel between the couple. We're just going to get them to play a little bit with each other like we did on the red wall, just so we've got a good combination. It's just putting different ideas into your mind of what you can do if it's raining. Put them in the doorway, turn them outside, you get outside with an umbrella. Yes, that's probably what we'll, we'll, all, we'll all do. Try reversing it this way and doing it like that. So just, have them just, just play together like you did on the red wall. We're just going to play with each other, yeah? So, so that right hand of Nick's is gone. There we go, okay. Left hand, nice and tight, a little closer. That's it, squeeze in so we get people to kiss each other. One on the cheek, one looking back to me, both kiss, that's it, a little rub, a little kiss, that's it. If you do a complete spin, Emma, turn your back to him, oh, that just, just looks so good, doesn't it? That's it, just bring your shoulders back round to me, keep coming, keep coming, that's it, squeeze in with your hands, hold hands, yep, and just come a little closer together, bring your hands to yourself, that's it, nice, it's lovely, hold it there, again, I'm on. 4.5, so as long as we keep the couple on the same four plane, everything's going to be alright. And it's get, The rain's getting harder. This is kind of similar to what you would do with on-camera flash, but we're just taking it from a slightly different vantage point. It's slightly higher, that's all. So I, do, I use this this way because I have it and that's how I use it. On-camera flash, you probably get a very similar effect to this. In fact, we shall do it right now. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick shot just with a speed light on the camera. So we just got a 580X2 on the camera and it's switched on to ETTL. So we're just going to let that help us. I have put my camera onto manual, okay, and I'm just cheating the light a little bit because it is so hideous out there. I just popped up my ISO to 640. But ordinarily, if it was nice and sunny out there and you were doing a little bit of high speed, shallow depth of field flash, we're going to keep it like it is. Keep your ISO down a little bit. All right, so I'm on 400 of a second at 3.2 because I'm wanting to isolate them against their background. I'm on high speed on the back of the flash, so all I've done is flip, switch, switch the H on, on the back of the flash, which is puts it into high speed mode. I'm going to give it a quick test. Make sure I'm getting nothing in the background, but then no, no door frame, no nothing. I'm going to just turn that shoulder out that way a little bit. There we go. Bring your heads together. A little check. That's nice. Keep it like that. That's nice. Lovely. Lovely, keep it there. Nice. And that's pretty spot on. Yeah, 400 at 3.2, letting the flash do it for us. Okay. We're getting a little bit of rain in the background, not too much, it's not actually not that bad, just because of the angle of the flash that's hitting the subject. Whereas before we had it coming from a slight left angle to me, slightly down on the subject, and we're not lighting the rain from anywhere from the front. Now I am a little bit because the light's coming straight flash on. So any anything that's going to be behind them is going to get a little bit of light on it. But it's not too bad. That's lovely, keep it there. Quick horizontal one. That shoulder out, just turn it out, that's it, bring your heads back. Lovely. Excellent, just watch that left thumb nick. There we go. Slightly apart. A little more. More. Apart. <laughs> there we go.